Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Chemistry and of course today we are going to continue our study into uh, as a mixture and today evidently we are going to consider the evidences evidences that shows that hair is a mixture It's a mixture. All right. So in the last episode, we define we define hair as a mixture of gases. We said that what air, air, a i r o air, not your hair on your head, but air is a mixture of what gases. All right. It's a homogeneous mixture of what of gases. All right. So because of that, that means if it's a mixture, what evidence is supplies or what evidence is show or tells us. That's what that air that we talk about is really a mixture of gases. All right. So we said in the, in the last episode that what hair contains 78% nitrogen, that it contains 21% of what? Of oxygen. All right. And then it contains 0.9% of what? Argon. And then it contains what? Some other, lot of what other, a 1% lot of other substances, okay? So that means in the component of hair, all right, we have more of what? Nitrogen and oxygen, all right? Then of course, of course, we have carbon, carbon fluoride, we have water vapors, we have dust, all right? That 1% may vary, okay? That 1%, 1% of other substances, okay? Of other what? Of other substances. This 1% may vary from place to place. Okay, but hair is a is a homogeneous mixture of what of this what components. All right. So now I want to see the evidence that supports or that shows that hair is a what is a mixture. Please do not forget to like this video. This uh, liking the video will make other students to what to see this video, and of course it will make them also learn and succeed like you are succeeding. All right. As you are watching this video now, all right. If you are a child of God, okay. Please just click on that like button. Just click on that. That thing that looks like this. Just click on it. Then subscribe to this channel. As you can see, we had an issue with our previous channel. So please, uh, we need to we need your support to grow. Click on that subscribe button. That red subscribe button below this video. Click on it. All right. If you have clicked on it before, thank you. But if you have not, please do it now so that this channel can also grow to meet up with your demands. All right. So likewise, do not forget to share. Keep sharing. All right. That is how what we grow, and that is how you grow. All right, so that is what uh, we're going to look at today. The evidence that shows that air is a what is a mixture. Now let's see a question from the old three school jam app about this. All right, this is a 2019. Okay, now let me see. This is a 2019 question, number 29. 2019, number 29. It says, which of the following does not support the fact that hair is a mixture? It's being displayed on the screen right now. Which of the following does not support the fact that hair is a mixture? A. It cannot be separated with a chemical formula. Two. The or B rather, the constituents of hair are in a fixed proportion by mass. C. The constituents of hair can be separated by physical means. D. None of the above. All right. So we'll come back to this question at the end of this class because at the end of the class I want to what see what all that what it is about. Okay, so do not forget that this tutorial, of course, is brought to you by the O3 School Jamba app. It asks all you need to succeed. All the past questions are on the app, so you don't need to go and buy past questions outside. We have a classroom that has lecture notes structured according to the Jam syllabus, so you don't need to go and buy textbooks also. We have question search feature where you can search for question according to topic. And all the questions that Jamba has set under that topic, topic will come out for you to answer. That's not wonderful. Then we have a mock challenge every Saturday. A mock challenge for all students that are writing Jam for a particular year. Okay? You compete with your mates, win prizes, get used to Jam pass questions, see your score release every week. So you do not have to be afraid when they say Jam, then release results. So you can't be fear. You know, go fear anything because you have participated in several mocks and you have seen your results. All right? So please jump on the app immediately. Activation is just for a little token. All right, please make sure you get it. Go to Play Store right now and download it. So since we say, hey, it's a, what's a mixture of what? Uh, component of what? This was gases. Now, let us now see the evidences that support that hair is a mixture. All right? One, the first evidence is that what? The constituents, the constituents of what? Of hair can be separated 
by physical methods. Okay, the constituent of what of hair can be separated by what? By physical method. And I've told you just now that hair is a what? An homogeneous mixture of what? nitrogen, oxygen, argon, and lot of and one percent of lot of what other substances. Okay, so since they are what homogeneous mixture, we remember when we did element compounds and mixture, we define what elements are, we define what compounds are. Okay, so uh we define what what mixtures are also. So we are not going to well, go back to those definitions if you want to really know about them. Go back to our previous episodes, our earliest episodes. Okay, it's on the other channel, O3 Schools. This one is O3 Schools 1. Okay, it's on the other channel, O3 Schools. So you can go there and watch, watch for that topic. So do not want to go over that again at all. So the concept of air can be separated by physical method. That is why we know that what air is a what? It's a mixture. The component of air can be separated by what? By physical method. Air is a homogeneous mixture of what? Of gases. Okay, and of course, they can be separated by a process we call what uh, a separation technique we call fractional distillation. Please take note of that. Okay, the component of hair can be what separated by what by fractional what distillation. This is a process of what separating what two two or more miscible liquids. Okay, that are what that have what comparable boiling points. Okay, two or more miscible liquids that have comparable boiling points. In case you have not watched our video on separation of mixtures, okay, please go to the earliest episodes. Also, it's on the other channel. Watch it. All right. So please, components of hair can be separated by by fractional word distillation. And fractional distillation is a word separation technique of separating two or more miscible liquids. Okay, with comparable word boiling point. That boiling point should not be more than one. 25 watt Kelvin. Okay, differences that boiling point should not be more than what 25 Kelvin. And of course, it's simple to know that uh, nitrogen itself has what the boiling point of what one minus 196 watt degree Celsius. Oxygen has minus 183 degree Celsius. And of course, uh, argon itself has what minus what 186 degree watt Celsius. So these are the boiling point of what of those three watt gases. Okay, this is for nitrogen. This is for oxygen. This is for what argon. All right, so they have what close boiling points, so you can what use fractional distillation to what to separate them, okay? And of course, that is an evidence that hair is a mixture of what of gases. It's a mix, it's an homogeneous mixture. All right, they, and of course, number two, another evidence that shows or supports that hair is a mixture is that this its composition, its composition cannot be represented by a chemical formula. Its composition cannot be represented by a chemical formula. By a chemical formula, unlike a compound. All right, a compound will usually have what a chemical formula. Okay, you can say what is the uh, uh, the formula of uh, the uh, the formula of this compound, uh, 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 silicate or something like that. Okay, but this one, its composition cannot be represented by what by formula. So we cannot say the formula for hair is uh, this is nitrogen, nitrogen, and I say oxygen, NO, then I say argon. Okay, the other gases, you know, say maybe NOAH. <laughs> so a the components of the composition of what of hair, okay, cannot be represented with a what with a chemical formula because it's not what a compound, okay, it's a mixture, okay, it's a mixture. It cannot be represented by a chemical what formula. Please take note of that. Alright, so now when separated, the components of hair still retain their individual properties. When separated, when separated, the composition. Of hair still uh, retain their properties. Okay, so when they have been separated, when those components of hair have been separated, okay, they what the composition they retain that they are what their properties have as you saw just now, the boiling point of what nitrogen oxygen you see remain the same. Okay, so that is that. All right, so when separated, the composition of hair still retain their what their property. That is another evidence that support or shows that what that hair is a mixture. Also, the components of hair do not react together when mixed. The components of hair. Do not react together when mixed. 
All right? So the components of hair do not react together when mixed. There's no way they do not react together. Okay? So when they are mixed, they do not react all together. That's why we say they are what? A mixture and not a compound. But I say that what? Evidence that shows that hair is a compound. No. We say that evidence that shows that hair is a what? It's a mixture. All right? So number one, we say the constituent of hair can be represented by, cannot can okay can be separated can be separated by all physical methods correct we say its composition cannot be represented by a chemical formula on like what or, or like a compound all right then we say when separated the composition of hair still retain that that what that properties then we say the last one the components of hair do not react together when they are mixed okay now there are some what composite uh, component of hair that what that support what combustion that support what burning all right let's look at them the component of hair that support combustion that support what burning all right that supports rusting that support respiration is what is oxygen okay the component of hair that support what that support combustion that is burning okay component of hair that supports rusting okay that also supports what respiration Okay, is what is oxygen. Please take note of what of that. Do not face simple questions in jam. All right. So the components of hair that support combustion, that is burning, that support rusting, and respiration is what is oxygen. All right. So please take note of that. Now, carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide, that is CO two. It's component of, it's a component of hair that is what produced from what from respiration, right? But from respiration, and it is necessary for what for photosynthesis. Okay, it's produced. Produce from respiration and necessary for what? Photosynthesis. All right, please take note of that. Okay, we so said the component of hair that support burning, that is combustion, that support rusting and respiration is oxygen, right? Where the component of hair that is produced from respiration, okay, and necessary for photosynthesis, okay, is what is called uh, carbon four oxide. All right. Then likewise, we now have for nitrogen. Nitrogen, we said is a what is it? It is what uh, inactive. It is a diluent. All right. It's a diluent. So we now say what well, that the component of hair that uh, that's a, that act as a diluent to slow down to slow down corrosion and combustion. All right. Component of hair that acts that acts nitrogen. Nitrogen is a component of air that acts as a diluent. Diluent to so slow down corrosion and combustion. Okay, that's what that is nitrogen. Nitrogen is a component of air that acts as a diluent to slow down corrosion and what and combustion we'll talk about nitrogen in the previous episode and we do not want to stress it too much okay it acts as a diluent to slow down what corrosion and combustion all right it is also necessary to know that what hair itself is sparingly soluble in water okay it's hair we say hair is what is sparingly soluble in water Okay, because the reason why hair is what's sparingly soluble in water is because it dissolves better in cold water than in hot water. It dissolves, it dissolves better in cold water than in hot water. Okay, that's why I would say that word that uh, hair is sparingly soluble, sparingly soluble in water. It dissolves better in cold water than in hot water, uh, than in hot water. But right, so now the hair in water bodies contains more, more oxygen. The hair in what in water bodies? We're talking about water bodies now. The hair in water bodies contains what? More oxygen. Okay, it contains what? More CO2 more what carbon four oxide okay because the, the hair that is present in what's in water bodies contains what more oxygen more carbon four oxide and that's what less nitrogen as less nitrogen okay so the hair in water bodies contains what more oxygen more co2 more uh, less nitrogen than atmospheric hair 
Okay, please take note of that. The hair that is present in water bodies, water bodies like our oceans, like our seas, and what and what have you. Okay, they are all if they contain more oxygen than atmospheric hair, more carbon dioxide than atmospheric hair, and what has what less what contains what lesser nitrogen. Okay, now of course. Uh, we now have, of course, the noble gases like the argon and the dikes, okay, that are what also as components of what of hair. What also on the award, they are component of they are what inert component of hair. Okay, noble gases. We call them the inert noble gases. Okay, we call them the inert component of hair. Inert, inert component of hair. Because what well, they do not react. They do not react. They do not what react. All right. So please take note of what of all this. So we have seen four evidences that support that what hair is a what is a mixture, and then we have seen what the component of hair talk about what uh, oxygen that support combustion or burning that supports what uh, rusting, all right, and that support respiration. But right? I will talk about carbon dioxide, all right. That of course is what produced from from respiration and necessary for photosynthesis. We we'll talk about nitrogen. It's a component of hair that acts as a diluent to slow down corrosion and combustion, all right. And then of course. Uh, Talk about what the noble gases, all right, that are in that component of hair that do not what react. Okay, so I haven't seen all this. Please make sure you are liking the video, subscribing, and sharing. Let's go to the OT school jump app, take a question, and then we'll know we are done with this class. Now, this is a 2019 question we're looking at earlier. So, of course, they say which of the following uh, cannot be repressed, does not support the fact 2019 29. 2019-29, which of the following does not support the fact that hair is a mixture? A, it cannot be represented with a chemical formula. Does not support. Can, uh, can, can it be represented with a chemical formula? No, it cannot be represented with a, what, with a, formula, uh, with a chemical formula. Which of the following does not support it? All right? B, they say the constant of air are in a fixed proportion by mass. C, they say the constituent of what of hair can be separated by physical means. Did they say none of the above? All right. So of course it cannot be represented with a chemical formula. Correct. B, C, the component of hair can be separated by physical means. Correct. All right. But B, the constant of hair are in a fixed proportion by mass. No. All right. We never said what that. The constant of hair are not in a fixed proportion by mass. Okay. Proportion of gases in hair can vary. Okay, depending on the location and time, which is a characteristic of mixture, not a compound. Okay, like I told you, like for everywhere you go, right? Everywhere you go, hair will still contain 78% nitrogen, 25% uh, oxygen, okay? And 1% one, uh, 1 of, all of other substances, okay? Those other substances, the constituent can be can vary, can be anything. That 1% can be anything, okay? So... Uh, it's not in what in a fixed proportion by what by mass. The constituents of hair are they are not in a fixed proportion by what by mass. All right. Now, of course, um, let us see uh, another question. This is a 2019 number 39. 2019 number 39. Say which of the following pairs cannot be represented with a chemical formula? Which of the following pairs cannot be represented with a chemical formula? A. They say hair and bronze. Okay. B. They say bronze and sodium chloride. C, they say caustic soda and washing soda. Okay. Caustic soda and washing soda. D, they say copper and sodium chloride. Okay. Air is a mixture, right? Bronze is also a mixture of, of, of copper and tin. Of copper and tin. Okay. Tin, T I N. Okay. Bronze contains what? 88% copper. Percent copper. Okay. And what contains what? 12% uh, of what? Of tin. All right. So please. That means that what air, uh, copper and tin that what they are mixtures. Copper, uh, sorry, hair and what uh, bronze they are what they are a mixture. All right, that is twenty nineteen number thirty nine. Now let's see another question. Uh, twenty twenty two number twelve. Twenty twenty two number twelve. Which of the following is a mixture? A. They say air. B. Oxygen. C. Nitrogen. D. Sulfur. Okay, and the correct answer there is what is hair. Air is what is a mixture. Okay, please. That is all I'm going to take in the next episode. We're going to be looking at flames. All right, I'd love to see you there. Thank you for watching.